Some kind of reanimator, some, some. One dollar per something reanimated. All right, some kind of reanimator, something. Stip. Reanimator. I'll put the counter on there. So people know there's a rider. Eh? Oh, shit, what up? Hey, G-Man's 3, thanks for the sub, thanks for the eight months. Well, that's a grizzle brand right off the top. It's almost too easy. Gark does not count as reanimation. You're casting it. You're casting it from the graveyard. And to reanimate? Back to back picks? The stew stip didn't come together? Yeah. No. I wasn't quite sure what that would look like. And uh, it's near the end of my stream. My brain's a little foggy. So I decided to pass on that one. Mm. I appreciate the offer, though. So this pack has one discard outlet, and it's in this Blood Tithe Harvester. But I like Blood Tithe Harvester. I like it. Uh, I like Red Black Reanimator. So I'm gonna draft it. The other thing you could do is take Lorien Revealed if you have a affinity for Blue Black Reanimator, and then just try, try and have better fixing in that direction. One cool thing about Blood Tithe Harvester is uh, if you end up with a Recurring Nightmare, it gives you a discard outlet and a critter, which I enjoy. You like Snuff Out? Snuff Out's a good card. The issue is you're using life as a resource, right, with Reanimate and Grizzlebrand. So Snuff's just like one more thing. And then we get like Vampiric Tutors later and stuff like that. Yeah, it wasn't in the mood, Real Monk Man. Obviously, I like that track. It's on my playlist, but... I'm going to take the Sneak Attack. Sneak Attack doesn't help me reanimate stuff. I mean, it could. It helps me get in the graveyard, I suppose. Remember that Sneaks are not going to count for the for the, the count. But I think it will fit the deck. Mm. Love a good backup plan. There's a lot of graveyard hate in this cube, and people like to main deck it. Good to have an Avidu to win. Even if they've got, like, a Void Walker or... Um, some some relic or something out. Ooh, life and death or inti. Inti's a really sweet discard outlet. I'm gonna take the life death out though. I'm just gonna keep on cutting reanimation effects. Usually not that hard to get the stuff in the graveyard. I just like inti a lot. What was the first band that I listened to that got me into rock slash metal? Um. So Rock is much older because there were only two radio stations in the um, in the town I grew up in. There were only two that got received. And one of those was Country, which I didn't particularly like. And the other one was Classic Rock. And I had a bus driver that played Classic Rock. So I'd hear like Dio and stuff. Dio and Sabbath and Iron Maiden and whatnot. On my ride to school every morning, which was like a 45 minute bus ride. I'm gonna grab Shadow Shadow Grange. I like this card. And then sometimes we can like madness it out. We have more discard outlets. And then I don't think I got into like uh, actual metal until high school, late high school, when I started. Um, playing Magic more at the shop in the town over. It was like a... Um, I don't know, it was like a 40-minute bike ride, and I would ride my bike over and uh, play cards every day. Every chance I got. Well, Ulamog's not a bad one to reanimate, Tom. The cookbook's a sweet discard outlet, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab the cookbook game. Note that there's madness with the Shadow Grange, but you can also just reanimate it, and then you don't have to pay the eight life. Anyway, at the shop they played like Chillin' a Bodum and Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie and stuff. 
I don't usually like trumpeting Carnosaur, but maybe it's the pick here, huh? Put that wall in the main deck. <laughs> Cookbook is indeed sweet, yeah. Did the illustration of Demonic Tutor get me into metal because of the Satanism? I do have a, a fancy print of Demonic Tutor on my wall. So probably. Rip an Entomb, and Entomb would help a lot. An Entomb, more reanimation effects, more discard outlets, more reanimatals. Atraxa and Atarka are the Archon or whatever. The premiums. Fast mana. We don't you don't really need a lot of fast mana in reanimator if you get the You're going like turn one cookbook, turn two life death. It's not like not like you need a lot, right? Often Dark Ritual is better than um like a Soul Ring or something. Summercool works with sneak attack, but it's not a sneak attack step, so I'm not gonna not gonna sweat that too much. I like bone shards as a discard outlet. I think I'm gonna grab the bloodstained mire out of this pack though, huh? Get some of that good fixing, some of the good stuff. And then maybe Shards comes back, maybe Xander's Launch comes back, who knows? So in this archetype, I like Bitter Union a lot. It's a discard outlet that sometimes just like lets you pop off with your you like you ran away and crack and get haste on the same turn. In terms of wheels, Marsh I mean Marsh Flats not probably not wheeling, but if a fetch ever does wheel, it's probably gonna be Marsh Flats. Pedal would be great though. I do like this Carnage Interpreter card. I don't know how good it is in Reanimator, but I wouldn't mind trying it. There's a couple of random burn spells that could be fine too. Ooh, Thoughtseize, Vamp Tutor. Grave Titan's not a bad one. Grave Titan's kind of cool because it's like good to reanimate super early, like it bodies people, but then you can also cast it. It's not super uncastable like Grizzlebrand is. Ugh, I really like Tutors. I really like Tutors in Reanimator because you're kind of doing like a combo thing. Where you need discard outlet plus thing to reanimate plus reanimation effect. Thoughtseize is like real premium though. Fuck um. Black Cleave and Duress are the two interesting ones for me here. I'm gonna take the Black Cleave. I, I really value good fixing. Duress is also premium though. Strip their counters or what have you, so your stuff actually resolves. Or you draw the Grizzle Brand, draw into some discard, just shred their hand a bit. Get their answers. Ooh, Badlands. Maybe I could have taken the Duress. Ideally, we're not playing this bat, but it can kind of do the Duress thing. Would I play Bizarre if it wheels? Uh, I play Bizarre sometimes. It's a little bit better here than usual with the the Shadow Grange. Unearth is on Stip, not through the breach is not. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying here. I think I'm supposed to take breach anyway. Would I play survival in a reanimator deck? Yeah, it could happen. So Dreams of Steel and Oil doesn't really need, do what our discard spells need to do, which is get their disruption out of the way so that we can do the thing. On the on the play, it could get an opponent's like hate card. If that's a creature or a artifact. Overall, I think it's too narrow though. Like I, you really want your discard spells to be able to hit counters. I'm gonna grab a Soul Guide Lantern for the Reanimator Mirror. Hey, the Bone Shards wield. Cool. Yeah, in terms of discard outlets, in straight reanimator, if you don't have like a lot of other stuff that works well with Bizarre, I'd rather have Bone Shards. Using your land drop to, you know, not be a land is pretty rough. All right, do we try this Carnage Interpreter? I don't know. The City of Traders isn't bad with these. We don't play City. Well, Souls is another discard outlet. I'm gonna grab Titan though. Cyborg versus Aggro. Yeah, Jagmatch here in the prime. Something for three years. Three years is a while. Three years is a hot minute, huh? G 
Cheers, Jagmat. Cheers to that. Ooh, I'm gonna drop that Shielded. Shielded's good enough that the opponents have to, like, kill it, and then you reanimate it, and they, they die. <laughs> Dark Ritual getting better and better. Liliana's a good discard outlet. I might just want Aired Mesa, though, to get Badlands. Just even better mana. How are you doing on playables? We need seven more. There's some filler in the sideboard, but... Not in love with it. How are we doing for discard outlets? We got Cookbook, Self Thoughtsies, Bone Shards, Harvester Bitter. It's like four-ish. And then Carnosaur bins itself. Assuming they have a target. You do need a target for Carnosaur. You can't just bin it. Outside Chance Lily Wheels. Black has a min link. Super cut up. Like the Grave Titan came back. Hey, Dark Ritual. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, this track's from the, the Your Name soundtrack. Kind of perfect. Ooh, and Tomb. Perfect, perfect. Kind of fitting, huh, on the Day of Trans visibility. Your Name isn't um, explicitly about trans folk, but... It tends to be very meaningful in my experience. Very popular in that community. The Soul Cauldron works with uh, Grizzlebrand. Yeah, it's not rep representation, Wapner, but the, the story. Story hits home. Experiences. Another discard outlet. Love it. I'm probably not playing the Soul Cauldron, but maybe. Fucking maybe. God, Atraxa versus Necromancy. This is a pack, huh? This is a pack. How much? How many reanimation effects do we got here? Two. We have two reanimation effects. We need this Necromancy. Fuck. Yeah, these are like the two most important cards that we've seen. The Atraxa and the Necromancy. It's the, the two most important ones that we've seen in this this pack, and they're both chilling in the chilling next to each other. And there's a shallow grave. Damn. Is Cauldron good in this deck? I don't think it's amazing. It's like just exiling Grizzlebrand. Might be good in a reanimator mirror, though. I dig the Primus. I don't love it as a reanimation in target, but we kind of needed one more thing. Thinking about Rankle, maybe DRC. We have a lot of cheap spells, which makes the DRC. Oh, hey, let's play Corp Stance. Corp Stance exiles, right? Exiles the team. Yeah. Is this just our deck? That feels like a deck. Yeah, if I'd known that I was going to get Corpse Dance and Shallow Grave, I'd have an Emrakul in this, in this pile of cards, but we didn't know. We didn't know. So this is 8 red, 12 black. Maybe 9 11 is better. 9 red, 11 black. So, I mean, we... We don't need multiple red very often, kind of just for sneak attack. But we do need red early, right? A lot of early. Most of it's early. One of the things about black is that, like, the Dark Ritual brings us from one to multiple. So 11 should be plenty. 8 should be plenty red, too. I spent more time hemming and hawing about that last mana source than, like, any other decision. Epicure, huh? Well, 
and this is a mirror. It is not. So if you thought Taze your opponent and see double Root Walla Fiery Confluence, you should not take the Root Walla. They will get it into play for free. It's not great. <laughs> not a great thing to do. The only time you should ever thought like make them discard a Root Walla if you've got the option is if they've got like a Venge Mine in the graveyard and you want to make them not have two creatures on their turn or something. Very rarely. Don't love this Primus draw. Very cool. Love it. So we can give haste an attack. Go back up to 10. How much damage do they have if they double pump their wallas? Six, seven, eight. If they play land and activate ravine, that's four, five, six, seven. I think we pass here. Maybe bone shard something. They're just killing the Grizzlebrand. Amazing. Fair enough. Well, we did get a reanimation in. We can we can add one to the count. <laughs> Cut down looking solid. Over. Maybe a bat. We create a specific hand. Yeah. Might it might get multiple reanimations in this game. Ballista seems good against them. Yeah, Ballista's good against their X ones. It's just expensive as shit, right? I'm not gonna go like shield rid for it. Not a ton of fat to trim in this reanimator deck of ours. Up the count! Yeah, I, I cut the stip command because people would always update it and then, like, not remove it. And so it was, it was just always... People would, like, fire it off expecting to, like, learn, like, the stip process, and it was never good for that. And then it was never updated, so it was just, like, always misleading. And I, I always want to have the stip in the overlay anyway, so, like, training people just to look at the overlay makes more sense. Oh yeah, it's very common in uh, Pioneer and um, and Standard, huh? Standard's 
Danger's actually decent right now. That's another one up the count. Good stuff. Yeah, not a lot of flat, fat to cut for something like Ballista here. It would be like Shadow Range or something. I kind of like that card. Not a bad card to reanimate. I'm saying it just needs a fatty. Oh no, did they mulligan to Oblivion? Yeah, they mulled to five and then they scooped rather than go to four. Man, <laughs> I was going to get more reanimations. We'll take that, though. We'll take it. Sure. I think we just didn't tune for Primus, huh? I think that's my next best reanimation target after Grizzlebrand. Hmm. Should I be worried about a counter here, huh? Should've just gone for it. If I knew I was running a redundant reanimation effect, I would have just jammed. Maybe entombing's better than putting out the cookbook. I think it is better. Because then I can untap a necromancy. If they answer the grids brand, if they like bounce it or something. Oh, I should up the count. We have four reanimations in. Not bad. Fucking, uh oh. Primus blow up a land. Kind of mopey. We could reanimate trumping, Trumpeting Carnosaur and see if we can hit like a removal spell or a discard spell off of that. There's Fire Covenant, Bone Shards, Thoughtseize as the three main hits. The Shadow Green doesn't really work because it, it's a Bone Crusher, not the Deceiver. I think I like uh, Woodfall Primus just blowing up a Triome. And then if they have Splinter Twin in hand, they still need a land drop. But if they have Kiki Jiki, then they're pretty far away. And that makes more sense than trying to YOLO hit. Oh, you know what I could have done? You know what I should have done is moved into the attack step before I played my Necromancy. And then I could have blown up two lands. And I think that would have locked up the game really clean. Because then the persist would have happened with the woodfall here. Yeah, I fucking missed it as soon as I put the necromancy on the stack I saw. And I was like, ah, damn it. That would have been way better. And then you've got a 5-5 five, five instead of a 6-6. Six, six, but who gives a shit? You know, you've blown up a whole ass another land. Up the count. Up the count. We did indeed. Up it. Oh, wow, they're just getting in, huh? 
Uh, I guess I do this. Yeah, Pyrokinesis using the Woodfall Primus would be not the best line. That's what they revealed to Lilia here. Yeah, I don't think that's great. Wait, is Persist reanimation? Of all of the recursive abilities, Persist is the closest. <laughs> I'm not going to count it, but it is the closest. <laughs> Panic wants me to count it? All right, Panic. It hit the graveyard. It came back. Mm. It has arisen. Yeah, definitely panic's call to make. Uh, I guess cut down, huh? Another anti-twin piece. Just cut bad again. Mind collapse could be good against twin, too. Only do have some larger creatures. I think... Like a Jeopardy answer when the, when the Trebek goes judges. Yeah, very similar. Ooh, you know what I kind of like? Well, I was going to reanimate the third path. And then play the cookbook and get a token. Up the count! Once again. <laughs> Are we counting that one? I'm going to verify every time we persist a Woodfall Primus. <laughs> Even though we've clarified it here. Oh, wow. Showing a hand of Kikijiki at the end there. Sweet. Yeah. No, Digadon, for a few different reasons. One, like it only works with Grizzlebrand. I have plenty of ways of reanimating Grizzlebrand. Like in my whole deck, it only works with Grizzlebrand. And for two, we're doing a reanimation step. It doesn't, it's not actually reanimating, right? Soul Cauldron. So I'll bring in the Soul Cauldron if we play a reanimator mirror, which this could be. Yeah, similar to the Bone Shards. Is like the wasteland targeting itself, right? Which used to happen back in the day against Price of Progress. Hey, the BIM thinks about $4.20. Fucking uh oh. Be, it's actually very fitting that we've got a reanimator mirror in the last match of the evening. Hello, Burn Bison. Oh, they didn't uh, activate the Jace. Interesting. Oh yeah, this track's like 12 minutes long. We're two minutes in. I'll, I'll play Bimp's Song Request now. <laughs> Not quite, quite Primus. I like this album, though. Yeah, I had this track in particular on a playlist for a while. Might still be on there. No, 
No. I've been lapsed. No. I'm getting out reanimated. <laughs> Does that make the count go down? Am I minus one here? Oh, fun, Bim. It's an implied my reanimation's meat locker. Well, that's a lot of good cards. If I could kill the attracts, um. I mean, if I draw, like, my one answer to this attracts, uh, oh, there's trading. They want to reanimate it again. Where's my Black Lotus, right? Do I have a favorite zombie token? I do not. Oh, maybe the, uh, um, the original unglued one. Those original unglued car uh, tokens are so fucking iconic. In a, um, I was playing in a feature match... And someone was watching, and they just, like, gave me one of those old-school goblin tokens. Super cool. Very kind of them. I imagine that Duress is grabbing my necromancy. No, they're doing something else here. Just toxic away tokens, sure. Sure. Do, do, do. Oh, sick. Maybe I get a chance to do the thing. Up the count! Um. I mean, just get it all right. It's whether or not we want the um, the bat or the carnosaur, and it's whether or not we want uh, City of Traders or one of the other lands. Dark Ritual Death means that I have two mana available, which is enough to play a bat, but not enough to play bat plus Thoughtseize. Yeah, maybe I keep City of Traders. Bat. I kind of like that. Just shred their hand. I mean, the Jace can down tick on the Toxic, and they can sweep stuff. Yeah, maybe I don't want to bat them, huh? What if I, what if I fucking snuck in the Carnosaur here? That'd be cool. Let's do that. Bitter Reunion, Dark Ritual, Thoughtseize, Carnosaur, and uh, I don't think the land matters. Now that we're not getting city. Definitely grabbing Dismember here. Interesting collection of cards. Grave Titan's way better against that Lily. Maybe, maybe I fucked up. Hitting them for seven down to five is tempting too. But yeah, putting the Jace on one loyalty seems great. Awesome. That was all exactly what I wanted this whole game. Was to like reanimate the opponent's attraction. 
Yeah, your deck looks good, Cheese. Mm. Blue, red, mono, good cards. The song's sick. The song is sick. Got me into Haken. Haken. This is the only uh, one of their albums that I have on vinyl, though. But I have a few others of their tracks scattered around my playlists. Some quality prog. So the opponent's best, best path here. I should clean up the revealed zone, hum. Why are there six cards here? What am I missing? Well, whatever. Hell yeah, Livermortis. Oh, that's fucking sick. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We were getting out reanimated, and then we fucking reanimated them. Trumpeting was actually kind of sweet. Feel bad cutting it here. Gotta cut something though. Beat them in track saying twice. Yeah, right. And we only got to track so once. Bone shards. Yeah, bone shards wasn't my only out. Shadow Shadow Grange would have also worked, right? Because we could have snuck it in. This is cool one though, because then it also like been the thing for me to reanimate. Which <laughs> I guess Shadow Grange would have too. I gotta say, our reanimation count is, like, higher than I was expecting. I was thinking, like, if we reanimate a Grizzlebrand as our target every time, and our opponent's just scooped to that or whatever, then that's, like, one per game. So, so I was <laughs> on a good run where we, like, trophy the league. That means there would have been, like, six or seven or something. And we're at ten with games left to play. Very reanimator y. Yeah, reanimate and necromancy are pretty good in a reanimator mirror. Because they can hit your opponent's stuff, of course. Spell secret is tutored up reanimate. This is not tenacious D now, this is clutch. And just holding up Necromancy does let you, like, counter or reanimate. But I really like getting this sneak attack down. It seems good to me. Based on the rest of my hand. I'm not opening it for my opponent's slicer. We got Dismember, Baleful Strix, Island, and Whale. So those are the four that we know about. What would, what would you like to dress, opponent? <laughs> what card would you like to take? If they don't want me to take their Atraxa, they should take this Necromancy. They did the corpse dance. I 
Even this lantern down would be so good, but I'm gonna it would like play around spell pierce and stuff. But it's not a fucking lantern step. Up the count! So the Jace gets to free low block here, the block loot. Are they going to dismember Grizzlebrand so I gain less? That's legit. Interesting. I figured they would do the, the, the block flip trick. I think I want to hold on to the city traders. So I'll discard like all the other lands. And through the breach. Uh <laughs> uh fucking this thing. I don't want to discard the epic here because I probably shouldn't have put the epic here in hand. I don't want to gunk up Shallow Grave. Could be cool. This is nine. I need to discard two cards. Maybe I'll just be the Epic here in the Shallow Grave then. What's Cauldron for? My opponent's stuff. <laughs> the reanimation. It exiles cards from Graveyard, so. It could work with Grizzlebrand, but it's, it's, it's mostly just here as Graveyard Hate. The whale gets to bounce this attract some, but they don't have the life to flashback reanimate on it at least. Three mana, Liliana, sure. One awkward thing is that Thoughtseize can't hit the uh, whatever's under the Shelldock Isle. Put it in the tank over there. I think they're deciding if they want to whale or hold up whatever's under Sheldock is their thought process. Maybe the Jace wants to flashback duress. Hmm. Alright, I want my Shallow Grave Bank. Grizzlebrand's ability on the Shieldred is uh, kind of sweet. Very easy to deck yourself, though. Yeah, they're just leaving up Sheldock. Noise. Yeah, the play from there, I think, was to Soul Cauldron exiling Grizzlebrand and putting the counter on Crave Titan so I could draw more cards if I wanted. And then you attack them for seven, right? They're only on seven. Make a bunch of zombies. Cool step! Cool step. We reanimated 11 times. Not too shabby. Hard to fit in 11 reanimations in a league if you're not, like, recurring nightmaring, right? Maybe we could have done more with, like, Corpse Dance with Buyback or something, but usually people...